Hey everybody, Mungo Dark Matter here and welcome to Dark Matters. Today on Dark Matters, I'm going to show you how to connect your uh, Xbox One uh, controller wirelessly to your PC. If you're new here, consider subscribing to the channel and consider clicking on the bell icon so you get informed when there's a new video out or a live stream. Alright, so here's an Xbox One um, wireless adapter for Windows, which is what you need to connect your uh, Xbox One to, uh, or your Xbox One controller to your PC wirelessly. I'll have a link in the description of the video below of uh, what this product is and where you can get it. Now, you can actually connect your uh, controller up, your Xbox One controller up to your PC uh, without uh, without getting this device by just using a USB cable and there's some uh, videos out on the internet that show you how to do that. It's relatively simple. There's a little connection in the end of the controller to do that. So here's the device right here. It just connects into your USB port of your uh, PC and you can uh, sync or uh, connect your uh, wireless Xbox controller with it. This is a pretty simple device. It, it basically adds the hardware to your PC that allows the Xbox controller to communicate with your PC. This device comes with a USB extension cord which allows you to plug it into a USB port that may not have as much room around it. Uh, typically with devices like this you'll see the uh, footprint of it is a little bigger than a normal USB plug and sometimes if you have a tight fit uh, near where your USB port is you can't connect a device like this or you have to unplug other things to connect it. So that's why it, uh, this comes with this extension cord. All right, I took the Xbox One wireless adapter for Windows and plugged it into my Windows machine into a USB port, and it automatically detected it and loaded the driver. Then all I had to do was press the button on the side of the wireless adapter. A little LED comes on it to indicate that it's on. Then I turned on my Xbox controller and I pressed the button on top of the Xbox controller to sync it to the uh, wireless adapter. It's the same procedure you would use to link an Xbox controller to your regular Xbox. Now here are the instructions on how to do this on this web page right here. And I'll put a link to this web page in the description of the video below. To test the controller, I went into the Windows 10 edition of Minecraft and if we go to settings right here you can see it shows that the controller is one of the controls that it supports. You can use any game or software that supports the Xbox controller but not all software and not all games support the Xbox controller. Now if we go to where the controller is we can you know set some parameters in here or uh, remap some of the buttons to however we like. I turned this on right here this is auto jump. When you turn this on, that way when you walk along, it will jump if there's just one level of blocks and continue to go so you don't have to jump yourself. You may choose just to leave that off. So I'm going to resume the game here. And as you can see, I'm moving along using the Xbox controller instead of using the mouse and the keyboard. If I press Y, it brings up the inventory. B will exit back out of it. So that's how you set up an Xbox controller with your PC to run wirelessly using an Xbox wireless adapter. I'm Mungo Dark Matter, and this has been Dark Matters, and I will see you next time. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.